8 o'clock on a Monday morning. Glad to have you here with us. I'm Tim Pham. And I'm meteorologist Jeremy Lagoon. As Tim mentioned, it's Monday, so TGIM. TGIM. There's uh, some Monday motivation for you. Uh, you want some more Monday motivation? Oh, How about all that snow we saw in the mountain passes and snow Ooh, call me? Look at that. Good grief, Charlie Brown. That Ooh, is what good. a white Christmas looks like, but it is nasty travel up and over the passes. And for that reason, Washdot says the next few days just expect there to be snow in the mountains. Yeah, that's right. You're going to want to uh, keep a close eye on the forecast with us throughout the week as you move closer to the day that you plan to travel this week. So really to ensure that you have smooth travel and smooth trips, you're going to want to make sure you plan and prepare. Nicole Hernandez helping you prepare by showing us a few extra things you'll want to keep in your car this holiday season. Good morning, Nicole. Oh, it's snowy. Good morning. Good morning, Tim and Jeremy. Yes, it is still snowing out here, which of course could put a hindrance on your holiday travel plans if you're planning on driving. So first and foremost, going over local roads here. I'll let you take a look here. This is Regal up here on the South Hill. You can see covered in snow from this morning snowfall. Uh, the flakes are getting smaller, so I don't know what that means. Jeremy can tell you after this, but that's what I'm seeing out here. Uh, the side roads, so that's where you're going to really have your issue because there's still ice on those roads now covered with a layer of snow. So be extra careful on the side roads. Good, good news is, is some of these uh, main roads were pretty clear before the snow hit, so that will be helpful. But of course, as we continue into holiday travel, here are some tips to help keep your holiday travel stress free. So the one thing you can do, like what you're seeing right here, is you can uh, check the WashDOT travel maps before you leave to see any alerts or restrictions. You're looking for things like pass closures or crash delays. This year's staffing challenges could also mean some highways will have snow or ice on them for longer than normal. And if you're interested in immediate updates, you can follow washed out social media pages on Twitter and on Facebook. Now, if you are planning on traveling over the passes for this holiday season, you do have to bring, we've got them right here, your chains with you. You have to have these going over the passes. They are required. You don't necessarily have to have them on your car, but you do have to have them in your car. So uh, state troopers will be actually looking to make sure you have those with you as you're going over the passes. If you don't have them, you could face a fine of up to $503. Another good thing to have with you, your snow shovel, just in case you get into any situations where you got to dig yourself out. And then of course, the one tip we always say, whether you're here local or traveling, make Make sure to go slow and take your time on the roads. Live in Spokane, I'm Nicole Hernandez. Well, as Nicole mentioned, the flakes are getting smaller and to me as a meteorologist, kind of a sign that it's starting to wind down a little bit or slow down. And that's kind of more of what we expected throughout the day today, that kind of lighter snow that slowly amounts to something. Here in Spokane, we've got our temps in the 20s, so it's still going to stick as it moves in. 23 in Spokane, 25 in Coeur d'Alene, mid 20s out in central Washington, 22 in Wenatchee and Sandpoint, starting to see some of that snow filter in with your temperatures in the mid 20s as well. Our winter weather advisories and winter storm mornings last through much of the afternoon. Winter storm morning expires at 3 p.m. Our winter weather advisories last until 4 p.m. Few inches on the snow, few inches of snow on the ground, all said and done. We're catching a slight little break, but it doesn't mean we're done. The snow does continue through much of the day here in the inland northwest, and that snow will kind of kind of right on that Interstate 90 line. We're going to see a little bit of it off to the north, but even more of it down to the south, where you could see about one to three inches of it in parts of the Palouse as we move through the day, eventually winding down and moving out later on this evening before offering us a pretty dry day tomorrow. It's as we get into Tuesday night that things really start to change, so we'll keep a close eye on that for you here in the Creme 2 Weather Center, because for now it's snow and that piles up one to two inches here in town, but coming up, I'm going to let you know why that probably won't last until Christmas. 8.05 now, time for your morning rush. More news in less time. Washington Senator Doug Erickson died over the weekend. The 52-year-old hadn't been seen or heard from since he was reportedly being treated for COVID-19 in Florida. His family is asking to keep them in your prayers. Governor Jay Inslee delayed the start of Washington's new long-term care tax. The Washington Cares Fund was originally set to begin collecting taxes in January of 2022 to help pay for long-term care expenses. Inslee says legislators found areas of the bill that need adjustments amid, quote, ongoing discussions. 49 degrees north is open up 
opening up for the season with some new additions. The resort made several upgrades to its equipment over the summer, including a new lift, an expansion to the gift shop, and a new smartphone compatible locker. Now, the Seahawks delayed their game against the LA Rams due to a COVID outbreak. They are one of three NFL teams to have to postpone their games because of the virus. The Hawks will now face the Rams on Tuesday at 7 p.m. It was a big win for the Zags on Saturday. The Bulldogs picked up their first win in program history against Texas Tech, 69 to 55. The Bulldogs were 0 and 3 previously against the team. For more on Gonzaga's historic win, you can visit creme.com. That's a look at your morning rush. Health officials say the Omicron variant is spreading fast, doubling every two to three days. Omicron is believed to be more contagious, which is a concern as families travel and gather for the holidays. SeaTac Airport expects to reach pre-pandemic levels with nearly one million travelers over the next two weeks. This is a juggling act. It affects a lot more people, but perhaps people get less sick. We don't know where that net balance is. But we do know this, we can't allow our hospitals to become overrun. Governor Inslee says there's still a lot to learn about the new variant before he considers any new restrictions. Santa needs to know who's been naughty and nice, but will it be harder to find him this year? And a local Humane Society is on their way to winning a cash prize for their work. And the one thing to know about weather today, well, we've got snow in the forecast one to two inches on the way for us here in Spokane and over in Coeur d'Alene. I'll walk you through how much snow falls when it comes to an end and why I don't think this lasts through Christmas. Seven here, Christmas is less than five days away, so we want to know how did you spend the last weekend before the holiday? You drive the conversation on this show. Text us at the number 509 448 2000 or use the hashtag up with creme on social media. But first, here's a live look outside a snowy Monday here. We say good morning to you, Inland Northwest. Happy Monday. Shout out to our friends in Spokane Valley, Rosalia, and Spirit Lake. Let us know where you're watching from this morning. Tim.